Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with an innovation in technology that is making the unthinkable possible. Three-dimensional printers, printers capable of producing physical objects, are now so advanced you can buy them for your home and create pretty well anything you want out of plastic, even a gun. That's what an American University student has done, and today he not only successfully fired that gun using real bullets, he posted the blueprints online. As Mike Drolet reports, it's a development one American senator calls stomach-churning. It's called the Liberator, and save for the firing pin and bullet, it's all plastic. If you have an $800 3D printer at home, all you need to do is download the blueprints to make it. No serial number, untraceable, and yes, its designer is fully aware of the can of worms he's opened up. There's no question this helps you evade a background check. Yeah, this is, makes it easier for you to get a gun. Up until now, Cody Wilson had only replicated parts of an AR-15, the gun used in the Newtown shooting. He put the blueprints online. To date, there have been over 800,000 downloads. What's coming out is a lower receiver of an AR-15. When Global 16 by 9 caught up with him last year, the self-described anarchist admitted he wanted to make a point against government control. For us, it's not a, we're not makers thinking, what's the best thing we can make? It's a political project. Well, politicians and police agencies have taken notice. The RCMP says it's monitoring the situation, as is the ATF in the U.S., and Senator Charles Schumer says lawmakers need to find a way to outlaw the technology. We're facing a situation where any felon, a terrorist, can open a gun factory in their garage and the weapons they make will be undetectable. It's stomach churning. I'd be more worried in Canada. The security experts suggest Ottawa needs to step up. While in the U.S. law enforcement agencies are used to guns, Canada is a different story. The implications of 3D guns, easily made, hard to detect, are endless. I would put this on the highest list of legislation for banning, and I'd also be stepping up the security searching and making people more aware of this, uh, this new 3D plastic gun that's available. Up until recently, the idea of a plastic gun was science fiction. Now all you need is an internet connection and a specialized printer. Mike Trollet, Global News, Toronto. So how are authorities in this country responding to 3D guns? Well, we tried to put the question to Vic Taves, the Minister of Public Safety. His office gave us the department's parliamentary secretary, who said the law in Canada will not change. It remains illegal to manufacture or own a firearm in this country without a license. It's new technology. It's something the RCMP are watching very closely. Uh, again, the safety of, of Canadians, making sure the guns don't get into the wrong hands, it, it's a priority. It this is certainly technology to keep an eye on. 3D printers have been called the new industrial revolution. They've become smaller and dropped in price since they were first developed just over a decade ago. The printers layer plastic to form three-dimensional objects. They can produce anything now from a pop culture sculpture to complex gear mechanisms. The technology has also been adapted for medical use. Bioprinting creates tissues with cells, and current clinical trials are creating kidneys and other organs.